Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns coming at y'all again today with another video. In today's video, we're going to get back on the Conquer Grill as hot as it is out here, 103 degrees in Texas every day. But today, we're going to be doing some uh, rotisserie salmon, and we're going to be doing it in a new accessory that I got for the Conquer Grill, which is the stainless steel XL grill basket. All right, so. Let's go ahead inside and head to the lab and get this thing all seasoned up, get the fire made. But before we do all of that, if this is your first time on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss any videos like this one in the near future. All right, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it, okay? So as you can see right here, we got a nice, beautiful piece of, piece of um, Atlantic salmon, all right? One whole big old filet, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna spray this stuff down real lightly with some, some oil right here, like this. All right, just like that. And all we're gonna do to this side, okay, I'm gonna put some kosher salt on this side and, it, and I'm just gonna let it sit while I go outside and try to get the fire heated up. That way the salt can start drawing up some of that moisture out of this skin and once it starts rotating it's going to be really crispy once it finishes all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put some of this kosher salt on here just like this maybe about a teaspoon or so you don't need much and like that and you can go real generous on here all right go ahead and pat it down on there all right and that's going to be that for this side. Then we're going to flip it over, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do on the other side. All right, so for the meat side, okay, so we're going to do the same thing. All right, we're going to spread it down with a, with a little uh, olive oil, just like that. And this thing right here is fantastic, man. I ordered this off of Amazon. I had one before that I got from a store here local, and it broke. But this one is fantastic right here. Just rub it down a little bit like this. Now we're gonna put some um, some of my all-purpose seasoning on here. Some JB's all-purpose seasoning. All right, it's like that good stuff. I think I've stumbled onto something with this seasoning, y'all. You know? Telling you, it's selling really good. All right, so now that we got this all seasoned up with this uh, AP seasoning. All I'm going to do differently is I'm going to put on some uh, smoked paprika right here. All right. Just like this. And this is, it, and this right here is just going to give it that rich, deep red mahogany color. And it's going to give it some smoky flavor, all right? So that's that for that. Now we're going to let that sit. On the meat side now i want to show you what else we're going to do all right so like i said before we're going to be uh cooking this salmon in this new uh stainless steel xl uh grill basket that i got off of amazon and it's a grill accessory for the conquer grill okay and you can get the regular size uh basket but i chose to get the xl okay and it's perfect for stuff like this like salmon and you can do a whole bunch of chicken wings in here and stuff like that so I would go with the XL if I were you, but it's real simple to operate. Um, it already comes put together, and these little notches right here let you raise it or put it down lower. And so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna just take it out of here like this. That see there, real simple, real simple. And let me get this situated. And we're gonna put this salmon in here like this, all right? Just like that. I'm gonna put this over here to the side, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut up a lemon and I'm gonna thinly slice uh, half of an onion uh, on my mandolin and I'm gonna lace this salmon with that right there. y'all right, so that was really really simple 
as you can see. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put it, put this, the top of this basket back on to these notches, okay? All right, so we're going to put it on the lowest notch so that, or, or close to the lowest notch so that the salmon don't flop around while it's rotating, okay? So that, that looks to be about right on the second or third notch. Right there, right there. And up one more right here. And so, yep, see that? So now the salmon is secure, all right? And it won't, and as it rotates, the, the vegetables and, and the lemon won't flop around or the salmon won't flop around. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and go outside and uh, get this grill all fired up, get the fire all hot, and then we're gonna place it onto the conker so it can start rotating. All right, y'all, so we got the conquer grill rolling, all right? So as you can see, that uh, that grill basket is doing its job. It's holding the uh, salmon in place. It's holding the onions and the um, lemon in place, except for that one over there, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, but this whole process maybe should take about an hour. So we'll check back in a little bit to see how it looks. All right, y'all, so I'm going to attempt to show y'all this uh, new device that I received from a great company called the Meat Stick, okay? It's a a, a wireless uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth thermometer, okay, uh, meat thermometer. And it, it monitors your meat's internal temperature as well as the ambient temp temperature inside of your smoker, okay? Now, so uh, it's, it's fairly easy to set up, so I'm not going to take you through all of that, but I'm going to set up uh, mainly how to use this thing. So we'll go ahead and try to set this cook up. This is actually my first time using this thing. So let's go grill. And we're going to go, uh, I guess, seafood. And we're going to go fillets, I'm guessing. And so we're going to go internal temperature. We want it to be about 165, okay? Oh, we actually want to take it off at about 160, all right? So we'll set the internal for 160. Now, we're not going to worry about the ambient temperature, okay, right now because we're cooking uh, outside. So it's probably going to fluctuate anyway, all right? So we'll just leave that where it is at about 350, all right? So um, we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, next uh, deal, which is it's going to scan it, and it's going to create the cook. And we'll see right now, it, it's thinking. I actually don't know what it's doing, because like I say, this is my first time using it right now. Okay, now, uh, so like it says, to insert it to me, and that's how you're supposed to set it up right there. You, it's, a, it's a black part on there, so you stick the whole thing in there until you reach that black part right there, because that black part, the end of it reads the ambient temperature. So we're going to go ahead and start cooking. So, all right. So right now, as you can see, it's at 60 degrees internal and it's 75 in my house, all right? So I'm going to go outside and put this thing on the conquer grill. And later on, I'll show you how it reads the internal temperature. All right, y'all. So as you can see, uh, this uh, salmon is coming along perfectly. It has a great color on it. Really, really great color. But what I'm going to do now, I have some, uh, I have like a little butter concoction that I made up. I'm doing this with one hand. I'm sorry, y'all. But um, I'm going to put this onto the, the salmon, okay? All this is going to do is add some flavor to it, add some fat to it, add some richness to it. It's just butter, lemon juice, and some um, Italian seasoning. All right, so I'm going to attempt to do it one-handed. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm just gonna pour this on here like this. I'm to do, I was gonna do it with my brush, but I can't do it with one hand. I'm just gonna get it on there like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That should be good right there. Get down on them coals, just like that. 
Get all that good seasoning on there. And we don't have to do anything else to it, all right? All right, so we're just gonna let that go. It shouldn't take much longer because the last time we looked at the ambient temperature was rising, it was at about 140. So all we gotta do now is just let it go. So if you can see the box down here, this tells you uh, your ambient temperature and your internal temperature, okay? As you can see, the ambient temperature fluctuates because we're outside, okay? If we were cooking inside of a smoker, it would be pretty, pretty even, okay? Um, and as you can see, the internal temperature is steady rising. It started out at like, I want to say 50 or 60 something, and it's steadily going up, okay? Our target temperature is actually 160 degrees, okay? So we're at 140 degrees right now. And uh, so another thing that I want to show you is this, that you can edit. <clears throat> if you hit edit down there, you can edit your settings, okay? And you can set... <clears throat> And uh, you can actually set your ambient temperatures to go off if it, if your temperatures get below a certain point or get above a certain point, and the phone will go off to let you know that. So that's an important feature on here. But today we we don't need to monitor the ambient temperature because we're cooking outside on a rotisserie grill. Okay, so we're going to turn that off. Okay, as you can see up here in the far right corner. This is for your internal temperature, okay? So we want our internal temperature to be about 160 degrees. Target warning, about 164, because we don't want it to go over 165, okay? Because after that, maybe your salmon will start to dry out, all right? So 160, we're going to pull it off, and it should finish at about 165, okay? So we're going to come down here to the uh, lower right side and hit save. And it's going to save our stuff for us. Now, when we get done and the whole process is finished, all right, we're going to hit end in, in the lower right-hand corner, okay? And if you need to put any notes right there in the middle, you can hit note, and you can add notes on to your cook, okay? So next time that you do salmon or whatever it is that you're cooking, you'll have notes on there, and it'll make the whole process easier, okay? So as you can see, we've been cooking for a total of about 54 minutes, all right? So we're going to go back so we can monitor our temperature. And the next time we come back, we should be finished. All right, y'all. As you can see, this salmon is finished. The uh, meat stick let me know that it was time to take it off. And right at 160, I let it go to about 162. So now uh, I'm just going to let it rest. And then we'll come back and see what the final results were but it looks great it looks awesome. all right y'all so we're going to go ahead and give this salmon a try i'm gonna go ahead and uh pinch off this little oh yeah oh yeah that's gonna be great i can already tell yeah look how nice and flaky that is y'all nice and flaky i'm just go ahead and taste it mm. wow that's nice nice and fresh got just a hint of smoke Okay, all those seasonings on there. Okay, the AP seasoning, lemon, those um pieces of onion, all that all that flavor got into this salmon. And it's really, really fresh, really, really clean. It's great. All right, y'all. So I highly recommend that y'all give this recipe a try, okay? And to enhance your cooking experience is to make sure that you don't mess it up. Go ahead and try that meat stick thermometer out. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. And as we always say, this is your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns. Saying y'all be easy. Peace. Be safe.